What is a negative sale? Now, you might have heard about this when you have the intention to sell either from your family and friends or from a real estate agent. And why is this important for you to know? So in this episode, I'll be sharing with you more about this. Hey everyone, videos here and today I'll be sharing with you more about negative sale which is something that is quite common currently. Now to put it simply, negative sale is when you are selling at a loss. So what are some of the factors that cause negative sale? Number one, the CPF accrued interest amount is high. Secondly, you still have a high outstanding loan amount. Now the third thing is the market value of your unit is insufficient to break even due to the price movement. Let's give a simple example. Let's take it that you are selling your 5 room flat at $450,000 as that is the fair price in the market currently and you still have an outstanding loan amount of $100,000. Now upon selling, there are two components that you need to take note when it comes to CPF return. Number one, principal amount which is what you have used to finance the house in the last few years. Secondly is the accrued interest, which is the interest accumulated over the years based on your principal amount. So we shall use this example where your principal amount is $350,000 and your accrued interest is $150,000. So the calculation will be to take your selling price minus your outstanding loan amount minus your CPF principal amount minus your CPF accrued interest. Now what we will get is negative $150,000. This means that you are selling at a loss of $150,000 and when this happens, buy right, you need to top up this shortfall to CPF in full cash. However, what we can usually do is to apply for a waiver approval to CPF board as long as you are selling at valuation price and not below it. The crucial thing about negative sale is for owners to properly plan out their finance when it comes to their buying process as this negative sale will affect their budget especially when you are facing this huge amount of negative sale which is why it's important for you to have a professional to guide you through the selling and buying process to avoid any unnecessary financial mistake. And so that's it for today. I hope this simple explanation will help you to understand more about negative sale and how it happens. Do like and share this video and follow all of my socials for more content. And for your housing matters, you can always contact me at 94592866 or you can also PM me directly and I'll be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Fidel here, signing off.